Calgary took the lead in a most unusual way. Oh, they score! Oh, Steve Smith, in attempting to get it out of his own zone, put it in the net! Well, that was embarrassing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking mistakes in sports. He dropped it! And now Romero forgot to go to third, and Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the biggest foul-ups in sports history. These mistakes can come from anyone, including the players, officials, or the fans, and must have been a huge detriment to the overall game. We'll be ranking our list based on the infamy of the mistake itself, the overall cost of the mistake, and the resulting repercussions. And they're going to throw. Oh, he's got it wide open. Oh, drop. Drop. Number 10. Deshaun Jackson lets go of the football. McNabb loading up deep for Deshaun Jackson. He holds it in. Sometimes all it takes is one ego to ruin an absolutely brilliant play. In this game against the Dallas Cowboys, Eagles quarterback Donovan McNabb threw a stellar pass to Deshaun Jackson, who made an incredible over-the-shoulder catch. An easy touchdown seemed certain, until Jackson celebrated too early and let go of the ball before breaking the plane of the end zone. Not only was dropping the ball foolish, but it ruined what would have otherwise been a sensational throw from his quarterback. Hopefully after this premature celebration, Jackson learned a lesson or two about hubris. By rule, the ball will belong to Philadelphia on the one yard line, first and goal. Number nine, Jean Vandeveld's triple bogey. He's going to be at least three shots ahead. It's easy to collapse when you've got so much riding on your shoulders. Jean Vandeveld was posed to be the upset victor of the 1999 Open Championship. And if he had one, he would have been the first French player to win a major championship in nearly a hundred years. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 you lucky little rascal. He had a three shot lead going into the final hole, but it seems the pressure got to him, as he ended up making a series of rookie mistakes hitting the ball into the grandstands, a stone wall, knee high rough, a water hazard, and finally, the sand bunker. He ended up scoring a triple bogey and cost himself the historic victory. I, I just don't understand what on earth he was thinking about. Number eight, Jim Marshall runs the wrong way. Is there anything worse than watching Jim Marshall run the wrong way in an NFL game? There's nothing worse than that. We all have brain farts sometimes. Luckily for us, these embarrassing mistakes aren't broadcast to millions of people. Jim Marshall played with the Vikings for nearly 20 years and had a Hall of Fame worthy career, but he will forever be known for one thing the infamous wrong way run. During a game against the 49ers, Marshall picked up a fumble and proceeded to run 66 yards in the wrong direction, resulting in a safety for the 49ers. Marshall is running the wrong way, and he's running it into the end zone the wrong way, thinks he scored a touchdown, he scored a safety. While the Vikings would proceed to win the game, Marshall's place in history was officially set, and many people now consider his infamous run to be one of the worst plays in NFL history. One of the 49er players came up and, and said, thanks, Jim. Number seven, Leon Lett's premature celebration. Fumbles picked up by Leon Lett. Can he go all the way? Leon Lett has certainly had an interesting career. He has made a few mistakes, like the time he famously fumbled a blocked field goal during the 1993 Thanksgiving Classic. But possibly his most famous mistake came in Super Bowl 27, which saw Let's Cowboys against the Buffalo Bills. It's a 60 yard run. He's being chased by BB. Watch out. Did he get across? No. After the Bills quarterback fumbled the ball, Let picked it up and ran it all the way to the end zone. However, like Deshaun Jackson, he celebrated too early by slowing down and lowering his hand, resulting in the ball being smacked away before Let could breach the end zone. This is the Super Bowl. You simply can't make those kinds of mistakes. Number six, Loris Karius's terrible goalkeeping. Bad goalkeeping is obviously embarrassing, like the time Peter Ankelman accidentally allowed Olaf Melberg's throw in. Enter Loris Karius. Karius found himself on the receiving end of some truly hateful comments and death threats after the UEFA Champions League final against Real Madrid. 
The first mistake occurred when he tossed the ball directly into Karim Benzema's foot, allowing for an avoidable goal. Later, he mishandled a shot from Gareth Bale, leading to Madrid's 3-1 victory and leaving his fans in utter shock. For me, it's not the answer, and I think, unfortunately, that's bye-bye Carius for me. Sports psychiatrist Steve Peters declared it would take Carius three months to mentally recover, while former goalkeeper Ray Clement said that Carius would never truly get over his costly mistakes. And it's not about him and um, the mistakes he might have made, it's about us as a team. We've got here together as a team and um, we'll lose as a team as well. Number five, Jim Joyce ruins Armando Galarraga's perfect game. 26 up, 26 down. Here comes number 27. A perfect game is a very rare thing in baseball. To achieve one, a pitcher cannot allow a single runner on base through all nine innings, and only 20 pitchers had accomplished that feat prior to Galarraga's game. On the very last out of the game, the Tigers successfully threw out the Indians' base runner, but umpire Jim Joyce incorrectly called him safe and ruined Galarraga's perfect game. Galarraga covers! He's out! No! Oh, he's safe! He is safe! Both Galarraga and Joyce were praised for their responses, as Galarraga showed no animosity towards Joyce, and Joyce later admitted to his incorrect call. Now that's what we call sportsmanship. And there's nobody that feels worse than I do. Number four, Steve Smith's own goal. Oh, they score! Oh, Steve Smith! Own goal nets in the playoffs are probably the most embarrassing thing in hockey. Just ask Martin Brodeur. Luckily for Brodeur, his team went on to win the Stanley Cup. Steve Smith wasn't so lucky. During Game 7 of the 1986 Smythe Division Final, Smith tried to clear the puck with 14 minutes remaining in the game. Unfortunately, the puck hit the goalie's stick and ricocheted into his own net, costing the Oilers the game and the series. The worst part? It was Smith's 23rd birthday. While fans were upset, the Oilers won the Stanley Cup the next year, and Wayne Gretzky let Steve Smith have the first skate with the trophy. Things happen. It's an honest mistake that he would love to have back, but, you know, it's part of sports. Number three, Steve Bartman intercepts a foul ball. Get in the air, down the left field line, a long reaching into the stands and couldn't get it, he's livid with a fan. Steve Bartman is still a sore subject for many a Cubs fan. The Bartman incident occurred during Game 6 of the National League Championship. The Cubs were five outs away from winning their first pennant since 1945 when Bartman accidentally intercepted a foul ball that may have been caught by Moises Alou. The Cubs collapsed after this event and ended up losing the series. Bartman was subsequently pelted with food and escorted out by security, and six police cars were posted at Bartman's house to prevent further acts of violence. The remains of the ball are now in the Chicago Sports Museum, and the Bartman seat has become a tourist attraction at Wrigley Field. They're all chanting, so they want that guy booted. They want that fan booted. Number two, Andres Escobar's own goal. In the moment of the goal, I lose sight of Andres, I look at the back and I lose sight of the ball. Most of these mistakes are minor when compared to Andres Escobar's. Everyone else on this list was able to walk away from their mistake. Escobar wasn't as fortunate. During the 1994 FIFA World Cup, Escobar accidentally deflected the ball into his own net, contributing to Colombia's eventual loss and elimination from the tournament. After returning to Colombia, Escobar was murdered by the bodyguard of a drug cartel in retaliation for his mistake. The murderer served 11 years in prison. While the murder tarnished Colombia's reputation, Escobar himself was and continues to be hailed as a national hero. Muy triste ver que que una vida se haya perdido por por un juego. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Oh, my goodness! Look out! They're all over the field! The fans are streaming onto the field as if Missouri won! Oh, my goodness! And yet, on the other sideline, <laughs> the CU Buff team is running onto the field as if they won. Weber brings it into the front court. They have no timeouts for Oh, he causes he too many timeouts! That's a technical foul! He called a timeout. Michigan doesn't yes. have any. He takes a timeout! Technical They're foul. out of timeout! Technical foul! Technical foul! Throughout this tournament, He's missed it, and Brazil win the World Cup! 
Number one, Bill Buckner's missed ground ball. Little roller up along first, behind the bag, it gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight and the Mets win it. Just the name Bill Buckner is enough to send a Red Sox fan into fits. And his infamous past ground ball is easily one of baseball's most legendary plays. In the 1986 World Series, the Red Sox were leading the Mets three games to two, and game six was tied in extra innings. Mookie Wilson hit a slow ground ball to Buckner, who let it pass through his legs, allowing the Mets to score and win both the game and eventually the series. It's unfortunate that it happened, but that's baseball. While Buckner received death threats after the game, he also received a two-minute long standing ovation at the Red Sox 2008 home opener, signifying that the past was in the past. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.